Okay, so now we're gonna uh, try and escape from some of the vulnerable positions that we could possibly end up in the clinch. All right, so you've ended up in the, in the worst position you can be, okay, with your head down, okay, your opponent's arms are locked around your head, okay, and there's nowhere for you to move. So one of the quickest things you can do is you put, wanna put your right hand around the waist and your left hand around the shoulders so you, your left hand touches uh, your opponent's left shoulder. Okay, when we're doing this, we wanna try and do it all at the same time. You're gonna step in, okay, and turn your shoulder, which is gonna make your opponent break, and then it forces him to come on the outside, and then it brings you back, and then you both end up in a position of 50-50, okay? Not in danger anymore. When you do the other side, exactly the same thing, okay? This time you come with the right hand to touch the right shoulder. Now, it's very important that you come all the way around to touch the shoulder because once you, when you come in and you turn the shoulder, if you're not all the way there, it's not gonna work, all right? So, right arm touching the, the right shoulder, my left hand on his hip, and I'm gonna step in and then turn the shoulder at the same time I step in, forcing him to break and then come on the outside, okay? All right, now, the other position that, uh, the other position is if I'm locked in here, Okay, and I'm taking a lot of knees to my left side. Okay, I don't want to stay in this position too long because I can't, I can't defend and I can't attack from this position. So, they've got a good solid hold on you. You want to take your right hand, put it on the hip. And from this position, you're going to circle around to your right. Each time as you circle, you pull the arm out. Okay, and then you end up coming out and then you try, uh, you try and get to a 50-50 position okay, where you're not in danger anymore. Now, another one. When I'm in, in that dangerous position again, if I, can't get the, if I can't get this as quick as possible, I need to drop my knees slightly and come in as quick as I can. Once I come in here, I'm gonna lock around the waist, okay? Now, when I lock around the waist, I wanna put my palm over my wrist, okay, and, and lock it in that way. Now, I've locked in this way. I want to bring my chin into the middle of his chest. Now I'm going to pull on the waist and I'm going to push out on the chest, okay? The more I pull, the more I push, the more discomfort he feels, the more he's going to want to let go and, you know, we end back up in a, in a in neutral position again. Uh, one more. In the initial, in the, in the initial uh, uh, going into the clinch, if my partner comes in, and he establishes his left hand on my head. If I don't want to clinch, what I need to do is pick my shoulders up, go up on my toes, okay? When I go up with the shoulder and on the toes, it locks his forearm in my neck and between my shoulders. Now, once I turn, I force him to turn and break. If he doesn't break, then he's gonna have some serious damage done to the elbow, okay? On the other side, again, they got They've come in, they've established position. I take my shoulders up, I rise up, and then from here I turn, and then that forces them to break. So that was just a few ways of uh, escaping some of the vulnerable positions in the tie clinch. Mm -hmm.